guys, I wanted to do a kind of tips for first year student nurses. As I was thinking the other day, um, I am about six months now away from qualifying as an actual registered nurse, which is absolutely terrifying to me at this point. I'm sure it will kind of just kind of flow, um, I'm hoping it will anyway, and I'll start to feel like a registered nurse soon. But I was thinking the other day, what would be some tips if I was looking back on my first year that I wish somebody had told me? Um, I didn't really know anyone else that was already a student nurse at this when I first started, and I couldn't really find anyone that was doing these types of videos, particularly in the UK. Hence why I started my blog. Hence why I started this YouTube channel. So, number one, above anything else I tell you, enjoy the excitement. You're only going to do your nurse training once in your life. You're only going to be a student nurse once in your life. So, I know it's an extremely hard course to do. It's an extremely hard three years to do. But, enjoy the excitement. Enjoy that excitement of picking up your uniforms, of getting fitted for them. Enjoy Freshers Week. Enjoy going to your placement for the first time. Most of all, just enjoy being on your course. Enjoy every aspect of it because I know there will become times when you will dread going to uni, you will dread going to placement. It's just the way it is. Number two, read, read and read. Um, if there's anything I can stress, is just to read and read around things, read up on things you're not sure of, read up on your placement areas, just read things. But what I will say is, you don't just have to go to academic journals, textbooks, things like that to learn about your areas. Utilise Google, utilise videos, YouTube, blogs. People will write about things, not just everyday things people will write about nursing so you will find great accounts you'll find funny accounts you'll find accounts of people that maybe haven't enjoyed something but it breaks up your research into easier chunks because you're reading someone's experiences or you're reading something that's not kind of black and white and cold which is much easier number three get the basics down get your fob watch Get an anatomy and physiology book and get black pens. If you don't get anything else, just get them three and you will be fine. Honestly, do not stress yourself about getting every single book that your lecturer says. Your library will have plenty of them. You can get them all online. There are electronic versions. You don't just have to have the book because I can bet you, you will buy, you will start thinking, I need to buy every single book and then you will use it for maybe one line in one chapter and then that's like 40 quid down the drain honestly don't bother it's not worth it number four make time for you find something that you like that's not nursing related like for instance I love YouTube and my blog it's something that can be nursing related but I can make it non nursing related as well which is quite enjoyable for me but I love the aspect of writing a blog post no matter what the genre is writing a blog post, filming a video, editing, uploading it, interacting with everyone that's the part I enjoy not just what it's about so find something that you enjoy outside of nursing time and make time for it don't say oh well I've got an essay I can't go to volleyball practice, I can't go to the gym. Make time for whatever you enjoy that is for you. Number five, this, <laughs> I'm just going to address this rumour. There are plenty of people on the internet that will tell you nurses eat their young. Do not believe them. Do not even read it. Do not even think for a second that is what happens. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You will go on to placement, you will go on shift and there are people whose personalities you clash with, people you just don't get along, or people that are having a simply bad day. It's not that people eat their young. Everyone wants you to succeed. Your lecturers, your family, your friends, your mentors,
mentors, the people you work with, everyone wants you to do well and everyone will look after you. I've not met one person in my three years that has ever ate their young. Sure I've met plenty of grumpy people, people that have had a bad day or people I've personally just not gotten along with because our personalities are two different things. So don't believe nurses eat their young for a second. Number six, get organised. Get straight away before you even start. Get yourself a planner. Get yourself a wall calendar. Get somewhere that you can write down when your assignments are due, when you're on shift. Every, all them little things when you've got lectures because your lectures might not be at the same time every single day they might vary they might change location they could be in completely different areas if you get yourself a planner or a wall calendar somewhere you can write all this information down you become so much more organized and you can spend more time on you if that makes sense so if you get yourself really organized you can lay out when you want to get essays done, you can plan them out in advance, you can get it done and you can have more time for you, you can have more time to have like the weekend off or have an evening off or to even spend your Christmas off. Now I'm not going to lie, if you don't have to work Christmas, if your uni does not have your own placement during that time, take it off. Believe me, you will thank me for it later. Number seven pace yourself if i tell you anything else and you don't listen to me pace yourself because you will burn out super fast and it you don't have to know everything straight away you are not there to be a registered nurse you are not there to be a super nurse you are there to learn that is all you are there to learn develop your skill and develop your knowledge you do not have to be that person that knows everything straight away without a problem. I'm not going to lie, there will be maybe a handful of people in your cohort that will be like that. Don't stress yourself out over it. You learn however you learn and if you don't pick things up straight away, you need to work on it a little bit more, that's fine. That's what you are there for. Just don't stress out about it. To go with that, number eight, if this one's so so important but lighten up on yourself don't be so hard if you don't get a straight A or don't be so hard if you don't know an answer straight away as soon as you're asked it. There's no point. It's just stressing for the sake of stressing. And there's honestly no point in stressing yourself out over not knowing something straight away. If you're so harsh on yourself, you're going to become unrealistic. You're going to set unrealistic goals for yourself. And that's not healthy. Know what you can achieve and what you're suitable to achieve. And re you need to think realistically. And what I will say is if you're really struggling with this one, you're really being really harsh on yourself, talk to your lecturers. You will have an advisor in university. You will have people on placement that you can talk to. You've got your PEFs, you've got fellow students. Talk to people if you don't believe me with anything else talk to people otherwise you will go mad make sure you give yourself a break i have i'm not gonna lie i've done this one i've worked for 10 hours straight on my dissertation i've worked for six hours studying for an exam it's hard particularly if you're quite bad with distractions it's quite easy to get into the habit of just working straight stopping maybe for a sandwich lunch and just working straight through try not to do that to yourself you need to take breaks you can't work seven days a week it's not human to do that it's not human to work 24 hours a day be realistic organize yourself another tip organize yourself set yourself time limits and take yourself a break if you don't want to stop every hour work for a couple of hours take an hour off work for a couple of hours, stop for dinner, stop for the evening. It's easy to do, just remind yourself. I am not kidding when I say I have to set reminders in my phone to tell me to take a break, otherwise I will just constantly keep going, keep going, keep going. And that one is also vitally important on placement. I'm not gonna lie, there are days when you feel like you're rushed off your feet and you don't wanna go on your break because 
you have no time like it's constant make sure you are super numeracy make sure you go on your break another tip to add is get okay and comfortable asking people questions and also get comfortable with the feeling that it is okay to say you do not know when someone asks you a question but if you're not comfortable asking these questions it's very very unsafe like if someone says to you oh do you know how to place a catheter do you know how to change a dressing if you don't know how to do that and you don't ask or worse you don't speak up about it that's really really dangerous and make sure you look for opportunities everywhere they will be a bazillion of them when you're in university it's a perfect example when you're on placement look for opportunities that might complement your placement and your learning so if you are in a diabetes ward spoke out or go on a day visit with a diabetes nurse spoke out to all these different areas and it will help you get a more rounded view of what's going on in that area which is super super helpful it's also really good for if you're not entirely sure what you want to do when you qualify spoking out to different areas and getting a wide variety of experiences can be really really helpful chart everything i will always remember what one of my lectures told me and it's if you didn't do it it didn't happen so if you haven't written it down you haven't done it um, and this is particularly poignant in things like pressure sores if you didn't turn someone if you didn't write down that you turned someone you've never turned them so it could be six hours in the time bracket that if you if someone say for instance has written down that they turned someone at 4am and then someone didn't write it down till 10am you could have turned them several times during that period but because nobody's written it down it's not happened so just remember this is the thing i always 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 remember is to write everything down and i try and write it down as soon as it's happened because there can be times when people leave chart until like the very end and they're like scrawling with smoke coming off the page just write it down as you go along it's not going to hurt you it's going to help you you are not going to always get high marks it's an incredibly tough degree to do you have to have a certain level of brains and intelligence to do it i'm not gonna lie it's not the easiest thing to do in the world and not everyone can work like go through it so well done you for even getting this far it's an incredibly tough mentally physically intellectually course to do and you need to be realistic there are times when i am not kidding i have just passed an exam or just passed an assignment and there are times when I've got like top marks, I've got firsts. It really does just vary. Don't stress yourself out on it. It's not worth it. And finally, for any first years that are yet to start or anyone that's looking to get into nursing, I'm going to say it to you now. It's not like it's on telly. It's completely different to being on television that's all that needs to be said really so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time bye guys